Hi, I'm Jenny Brandon, and I'm the composer of Colored Stones for Solo Bassoon. And in this work, I wanted to explore different types of stones, which in certain cultures and spiritual practices are thought to have powerful properties to heal, to protect, and to offer spiritual guidance. In Movement 1, Smoky Quartz, we find this stone as a grounding stone that diffuses negative energy. And in it, the bassoon moves through some grounding qualities of the stone to more playfulness. In Movement 2, Lapis Lazuli, which is one of my favorite stones, it's a deep blue stone that's been prized by kings and queens for use in their ceremonial robes and the color for paintings. And this stone is believed to foster truthful expression and communication. And the bassoon explores this luxurious color of this stone while mixing in flashes of the gold found within the stone. And in Movement 3, Tiger's Eye, which is a golden brown to deep red stone, it's also a grounding style stone, but it can also bring luck and ward off evil. So at times in this movement, the bassoon moves quickly to remove the evil eye, and at other times it moves dreamily through an ancient landscape. And this work was the 2014 winner of the Bassoon Chamber Music Composition Competition. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy Colored Stones. Thank you. 
I'm Alex Shapiro, and Kayla Bellamy released a gorgeous CD in 2018 called Double or Nothing, and I was very fortunate that she included my work deep on it. She plays it beautifully, as you are about to hear. And for me, it's one of my most intimate and personal and favorite pieces. It represents a very private and intimate part of my heart and the joy of my connection with the sea. I have lived on the water or very, very close to it uh, mo most of my life. And I'm always fascinated by the fragility of the environment and the creatures that live deep within it. I wanted to create an environment sonically where an instrument could float deep, deep, deep down uh, under the water and bring an audience with it. As I say in the program note about this piece, Sometimes I make the mistake of thinking that unless I'm doing something or moving, I'm not being effective. And this piece was my challenge to myself to be able to be very, very still and very present. And I hope that you enjoy the stillness and the oneness with me and with Kayla. Thank you.
Greetings. My name is Mark Mellitz, and I wrote this piece for Amplify Bassoon and Electric Guitar Effects Pedals that you're about to hear. The piece was originally the brainchild of a musician named Jacob Goforth, who led the consortium in order to produce this piece. Um, when I began writing this piece, uh, it was basically totally shaped by a very unique experience that I had just had. Back in the summer of 2017, I was diagnosed with a very rare autoimmune disease called voigt koyonangi harada disease, or more simply known as VKH. Super, super rare. One, I didn't know I had this until I was diagnosed three years ago. One of the signature symptoms of this disease is a loss of vision, blindness. It's kind of an amazing experience, though, to lose your vision um, for a short period of time. I, I knew I was in great medical care. I, I believed in them. I knew my vision was going to come back. I was never so worried that I was going to be blind. In fact, the blindness I had was, wasn't total darkness. It was just sort of a dark shadow is basically what I saw. Um, and then eventually, when my vision started to come back after, after the drugs, which was a whole other very difficult issue, issue to deal with, the, the, um, the drugs I had to take, this, the music you're about to hear is basically a journey of that experience. You're going to hear distortion. You're going to hear lots of guitar, electric guitar effects pedals that process the sound and change it and alter it. Um, much like this disease was changing and altering my eyes, um, I'm changing and altering this piece uh, that you're hearing for Pursuum going through these um, effects, effects pedals. Um, I was trying so hard to see, and you're going to hear in this music kind of a struggle. Sometimes I'm screaming through the bassoon um, and uh, trying to get to the other side, which I knew I was going to reach eventually. But eventually, oh. after the, the struggle, um, when my vision does get better, you'll hear in the piece, it starts to resolve itself. And there's a, there's a delay effect and a harmonic effect that um, I, I'm swimming in the sound and I know I'm going to get better. Um, so there's, you know, there's moments of that, of happiness, um, not just all struggle. I was really so happy to write this piece, to work with these effects pedals and, and write this particular piece. I ended up writing, making versions for, um, cello and baritone saxophone, tenor saxophone and bass clarinet. Um, in fact, for me, if the rest of my life, I only worked with electric guitar effects pedals, I would be very, very, very happy. Um, good luck.
And this is a unique opportunity for us to tell you about this, this piece, um, uh, Red Maple, which, uh, as I was saying, I think is Joan Tower's first bassoon concerto? The, the story as I know it is it's, it's definitely her first bassoon concerto, but sort of through the grapevine, I, I heard that she did not for a long time write for a, a bassoonist because she thought no, one, no bassoonist would ever want to play my music. <laughs> <laughs> which made me very sad, and then I saw the music, and then a little bit understand, and then a very sad again, and <laughs> and very thankful that it exists. What would you um, give us in terms of your tips for, for encountering this piece for the very first time, what to listen for, and kind of what the, the salient features are in the music? Definitely. Um, so the the piece itself is, is titled after the wood that most bassoons are made of. So you see the, the bassoon that I'm holding today is made out of red maple. There are a number of string instruments that you'll see on stage that are also made out of various forms of maple, various types of maple. And the, the piece in itself is sort of an exploration of the different sounds that come from instruments that are made out of the same thing. So I mentioned this a little bit in the pre-concert talk, but some things to really, to really lock into for that is that it opens with actually a, a cadenza. It's one of three cadenzas in the, in the concerto is actually the very opening which is kind of the lyrical, the, the soft version of the woody sound. And when the strings come in, you'll hear their version of the soft sort of lyrical vocal quality um, the inst that their instrument can make. And then there's a second cadenza in the middle that is a little more of the sort of like lush, um, the really rich kind of dark chocolate version of the, of the bassoon wooden sound, and then you hear that also in the strings in the next section. And then the third major section of it is this very wide, leaping, sort of aggressively articulated, really um, angry version of the wooden sound. And then you'll also hear that again in the strings before we all come together at the end. So you hear really three different kinds of wood in the three different sections of this piece.